So I've been delving deep in the discussion about the fact that there are basically zero female Fortnite pros. I've seen videos of people explaining why it's so hard to be a female in esports due to all the sexism and hate they receive, which yeah, I suppose they do, but it just wasn't a satisfactory answer for me. Because if that's the only issue, surely at least a handful of female Fortnite players would have just endured through the extra bit of hate and sexism they received to like achieve their dreams and become pro. It's also no secret that no matter who you are in the Fortnite competitive scene, at one point or another people are going to hate you and call you a loser. So I went on searching for another possible answer to this confusing situation, and I found someone saying that esports has always been targeted and marketed towards males, making it harder and just seem weird for females to get into it. But hang on, humans didn't randomly one day out of pure luck and randomness just pick esports and be like, yep, that's for males, cool. There has to be a reason that these companies thought they should market towards males. Hmm, what about the fact that there is no female esport pros so there's no one for them to look up to, and that since most of the scene is male dominated, the teams and groups females would be a part of would be all males, making it unwelcoming and unrelatable, hindering the quality of practice they could get with other players. But wait a minute, the same counter argument could be applied here, well why is it male dominated in the first place? So still, I was left unsatisfied with all these potential reasons for this weird phenomena. But then I had a realization about this whole thing. There has to be a physical difference in male brains and bodies that have been here since humans first existed that is now the reason that esports is male dominated. Because nothing in this universe is random. It all connects, makes sense, and has reasons for how it is. So I thought about a hunter-gatherer tribe. It's a fact that males would genuinely have the role of doing most of the hunting. So biologically it would make sense if males had better hand-to-eye coordination and eyesight even if it is just a little bit, as that obviously helps heaps with hunting. But the most important thing that answers it all for me, testosterone. I'm not going to bore you with studies on it because you already know. Generally speaking, the higher testosterone someone has, the more competitive they are, the more willing they are to take risks, and the more willing they are to endure a suffering for some greater good. I've literally said it in a video before, if you want success in anything in life, you should improve your testosterone because it literally makes you more motivated to succeed. And as we know, male is the gender that has a way higher abundance of it, about 10 times more on the low end. It's no wonder males are more interested in competitive Fortnite. It's literally got the word competitive in it bro. And by the way, that's completely fine. There's a reason males and females are super different, because obviously it's been the most optimal way for humans to thrive. You've just made it through the entire video so you clearly want to go pro in Fortnite, meaning you might be interested in an hour long one on one private coaching session with me where we go over exactly how you can go pro from where you're currently at in your Fortnite career. Just click the link in the description for more info.